guys, it's Cindy A. Lewis, and as you can tell, I'm holding a bunch of junk mail envelopes. I've been saving them so that we can upcycle them, and one of the projects we're going to use these for is a junk journal for Mother's Day. So what I'd like to do is welcome you if you are watching this video and you're new to my channel. I invite you to subscribe and become part of my YouTube community, my family here on YouTube. And if you are already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching. And I hope that I can inspire you to create something wonderful. So here we go. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is you need to gather your supplies and your envelopes, envelopes. Everybody says it differently. It starts with an E, I guess, envelope. All right. So I have a whole bunch. As you can see, I've been saving them for a while and wanting to do a project with you. So I looked through all of these and I got 10 that are approximately the same size. Now it's best if you get them the same size because you're going to be interlocking them and gluing them. Next, you need to decide on what theme you want and what papers you want to use. So I'm going to show you the supplies that I've gathered um, that I've gathered and things that I think I might want to use to enhance, embellish, and decorate my junk journal. Okay, so one thing that I like to do is use real vintage dictionary word pages from old books or old magazines. This magazine I picked up at a at a flea market or trading post. It was from 1957 and it is amazing, you guys. I even just sometimes want to sit and read these. I, I have a hard time even tearing them apart. But we're going to give them new life, right? By putting them in the journal. So I've got this American Home from 1957 magazine. I've got some pages here. This is a designer page, mixed media. It's by, is this color book? Color book? Color box? Anyway, it's a 12 by 12, and it has different designs in it. And I'm going to use pages out of here to decorate my envelopes and to make pockets and everything. This is some really pretty. I'm going for vintage, as you can tell. I have some pictures that were free a couple of years ago and I've printed them out and then I shrunk them down and this is this is my son and me and um, I'm not going to use these little tiny ones but I did want to show you you can if you have a printer you can shrink them like this so just shrink them and then they will fit on your pages better and then you have the regular size if you want to use those and these are awesome pictures and then I have a picture of me my husband and my son and then I have one of my son when he was a bitty baby he was preemie all right so I've got those to use to decorate now the next thing that I have I've collected a lot of things this is a Dollar Tree storage container they're great for all kinds of things and holding your supplies have these cute stickers and I'm thinking of using one of these on the front because an envelope journal is not as sturdy as a regular junk journal in that um, all you have are the envelopes. It's not got a spine or a binder. You're kind of going to make do with that. Then I've got these cute little heartwood shapes. You can see what I'm going for, right? Got these already created tags, but I can always make my own. I've got my favorite uh, lace ribbon that's much, uh, out of fabric from Dollar Tree. That's my favorite, I tell you guys. I've got some washi. I wasn't sure what color I actually wanted to go for, so I just picked different ones that I thought would go with what I like. So I'm going to set those aside. Got some charms, some little hair uh, bra or comb, and little mirror and shoe and a purse. Really cute, I don't know if I'm gonna use them. Got some antique buttons. These are real vintage buttons. Do you ever go to yard sales or estate sales? You can buy these for like a quarter. 
you know, and they're usually really the old ones. Then I have some pictures I picked up at a trading post, and these are someone's real pictures. I could scan them or use them, and they're really neat. And I'm gonna use these three, or at least I think I am. Then I have, these are some little stickers that I'm gonna use maybe. I just pick a lot of stuff and then I let my creative brain go with it. And I got these off of, um, I either got them from Wish or I got them from Amazon, not sure. Then I've got some Tim Holtz Ideology. This is a 63 piece set. Has a bunch of different vintage looking uh, ephemera and everything. So I'm just gonna use this as the uh, expedition pack, but I, I, that's just gonna see if I wanna use any of that. I have some, two doilies. I don't know if I'm gonna use them, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use at least one. And then I have some old recipes that were, I picked up at a garage sale for like 50 cents, a whole recipe box full, amazing. And this one is pumpkin ice cream, it says mother on it. And then this one is oatmeal cookies, which is very faded and I don't even know if I need to, you know, like put anything on the edge to make it look old because it already does look old. All right, so I start gathering all my supplies. I gather twine, I love to use twine. I've got a hole punch because I want to um, possibly like punch the top so it's easy to pull in and out a tag. Got double stick tape, got some Tombow Mono Aqua Liquid Glue. I've got some more lace ribbon from the Dollar Tree. And then I have this bunch that I picked up at a yard sale, this whole bag for like a dollar. And it's all old vintage. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, and then I have my little pack that I carry with me everywhere. It's got this wax ribbon, wax, wax thread, and then it's got my awl and some other threads and needles and stuff in here. But uh, <clears throat> I'm not going to do a lot of sewing, so don't be terrified of that. So another thing that I like to do is get a little organizer. These are from the Dollar Tree, and any kind of like embellished and like little buttons and charms or anything like that. I like to put them in where I can see them. So while I'm working on it, I have them uh, secured. So I'm going to take these and set them aside because we're not ready to decorate quite yet. What we have to do first is build the journal. All right, after you've gotten all your supplies together, the next thing that you need to do is build your journal. And I'm going to show you the easiest way to do that with envelopes. You can do it with any size envelopes, but for each journal, you want them to be the envelopes to be approximately the same size. So you take your envelopes and you take the flap and you fold it backwards on all of them. I'll just show you one more time. Take your flap and fold it backwards just like that and do it for all of them. All right, now you have all of your envelopes folded with the flap backwards. So you're gonna take your envelopes and you're going to feed the flap of the one, uh, of another one into your uh, front one. And you have this space here. You're gonna take the next envelope and feed it in here and so on. So I'm gonna just set that aside and I have one already here. Now, once you get all of your envelopes set up, you're going to kind of take them apart and you're gonna use some glue and you're going to glue them in so that they don't move. Now, the reason I'm using this uh, Tombow Aqua Mono Liquid Glue is because if you use double stick tape or um, if you use uh, stick glue, stick glue won't hold as well. And double stick tape, if you don't get it in just right, then you might tear your envelope putting it together. This will give you the ability and flexibility to uh, adjust your envelopes because you need them to line up pretty well. So I'm just gonna take this flap here and I'm going to take my glue 
and I'm going to just put it in. And I'm going to slide it in here like this and then press it down and see if that's where I want it. And then I do that with the next one. And I just keep going all the way till we get to the end. Okay, the next step is once you've glued all your envelope flaps into the previous envelope, then you're going to take the last one, it's just like the other one, and you're going to glue it this way. So now you're making your journal. You see that? So you're not going to glue it back like the other ones. You're going to glue it this way. So just take your glue and put a good amount on there. And it doesn't take really a long time for this to stick. But you want to make sure it glues really well. All right, so now we have our journal started. And these are going to be your pages, right? And if you want to make them into pockets, it's really easy to because they really are already pockets. All right, so the next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to decide on your papers that you're going to cover your pages. If you want to leave the opening, you can certainly do that. You can choose how you make your journal. If you want to open up this flap and put something like cut a pocket up here, you can certainly do that. And then you can see through here. You see this? Now, the thing is you're going to cover most of these envelopes with your papers. So if you do want to do any kind of special cutting, you want to make sure you know exactly where you're going to cut. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure my envelope and I'm going to cut out some papers to cover them each page. So you have uh, how many envelopes do we count? 10. So you have one, you have a back and a front, and then you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and then you're back in your front. So you actually have 20 pages. Isn't that cool? Okay. Now, what you're gonna do is measure this and see what size envelopes you have. Now, mine are gonna measure, mine are gonna measure four inches by nine inches approximately. And my envelopes are all pretty much the same. I have a couple that are a little bit smaller. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my papers out that I'm going to use. Now, if you want if you want to make a, a page that opens up, then you're gonna want to cut that double. So you're gonna cut it nine inches, if you're using the same size envelope that I am. But instead of four, you'll cut it eight so that you can fold it and then you have a fold out. Um, if you want to make a, if you want in the middle, or on any of your pages, if you want to make a pocket that is already uh, together and you just fold it up, then you add that additional uh, when you cut on your paper. So I'll do a couple of different styles and show you those in just a minute. Okay, once you cut all your papers the size that you need or that you want to use, then you are going to take your, your papers and you'll start to cover your, your envelope journal. Now, one thing that I like to do is age my papers. So I'm gonna show you that. Before I glue any of my papers on, I like to use this dye ink pad cocoa. I use dye ink because it dries quickly. If you use pigment ink, it's gonna stay wet longer and then you will have to wait for it to dry. But this dye ink will, dr will dry very quickly. And then I have a homemade blending tool. This is just a felt pad from the Dollar Tree that I put on an old pill bottle that I was gonna throw away. And it's not really decorated pretty. It started coming apart and then I just said forget it. So, um, but what I do is I, I rub my blending tool, my homemade blending tool on my pad 
and then I go over the edges of my paper or I can even go down more and you can see that it's starting to age the edges of my paper and so I'm just gonna do that all the way around the edges if you like it and you want it more you can just add it to your the rest of your paper or if you don't need it and you don't want a vintage look you did not have to do this this is just something that I enjoy doing and I like the look of it and plus this journal that I'm making is going to be uh, a vintage Mother's Day type journal. So you can see I added those. You can't really tell it there. Here, let me show you on a lighter color. <clears throat> now, while I'm doing this, I want to answer a couple of questions. Some have asked me, what are journals for? Why are they junk journals? That kind of thing. And I explained it the other night on live but it's just using something that you have and putting it together and making a journal. And what kind of journal uh, would you wanna make? Well, you can make any kind of junk journal that you want. You can make it for a daily diary type journal. You can make it for memories. You can make it for um, just you know your thoughts or dreams, or you can make it for prayers, or whatever you want it to be for. Now, I, wanted, I want you to see the difference here. On this end, you can see that I put the cocoa dye ink uh, blended on. And on this side, you can see it doesn't have any at all. So you can see the difference quite a bit. You can tell. And <clears throat> one thing with this, too, is that um, I like the cocoa because the black is too much to me. So I'm gonna do this to these and then we'll come back. All right, once you have your majority of your papers aged if that's the theme you're going for if not just make sure you have all your papers cut but you can always cut more as you want them then you decide what do you want on the front of your um, for your cover and your back now you could take one sheet and you could cover it like this but if you do that, you're gonna have to be careful how much you put inside. I will caution you on a regular junk journal, filling it to the brim, every pocket, stuffing it is part of the fun. For an, an envelope journal, you have to be careful how much you put in there because again, there's not a real spine here to hold everything. So you're just putting some glue together and then you're uh, putting your your, um, you know, your journal together without a spine and you're not sewing it. A lot of junk journals are sewn. They have signatures, which are the pages inside and they're sewn into an actual like book spine or a uh, chipboard. So these we're making really simple and easy. Now, before you decide what your cover is going to be and you put that down, you have to decide what kind of closure you want. If you want a ribbon closure, I advise that you take your ribbon that you want to be your closure. So I'm gonna take this that I really, really love, and I'm not gonna really age it right now. If I decide I want to, I will. So I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna measure, and then I'm gonna measure extra, and I can always cut that off, as to tie it together. So I'm gonna do it this way and I want it in the middle and I'm gonna cut it that size. It's really highly technical. <laughs> Just measure as far as you want. And then you can test it if you want to. So if I want to tie this, and of course my journal is not full right now, but I have a lot of room and I can easily tie a bow. And that's gonna be my closure. So I'm going to 
glue this down before I put any papers or anything else on it. And then tonight, this is all we're gonna do. And then in the next video, we're going to decorate the cover and the pages. All right, so let's glue this down. And I measured it already, but let's go ahead and just make sure it's even. So finding the middle, and I want it in the middle of my envelope here so I can measure. I know it's nine inches, so I want this at about four and a half, which is right here. So that's where I want it to be. I'm gonna take my glue and I'm gonna put a good amount here and put down my ribbon. Now this is the old fashioned looking ribbon lace that I like from Dollar Tree. This is my favorite ribbon from Dollar Tree. And I buy it, every time I see it, I buy like one or two so that I have it in my stash so that when I'm ready to use it, I don't run out and then I go, oh, I wish I'd have bought some. All right, now I'm gonna let that dry and then we're gonna decorate in the next video. So watch for part two of making this eight um, upcycled envelope junk journal. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and I've inspired you to create. All right, I see a blooper reel in this thing tonight. Okay, here we go. Hey guys, it's Cindy A. Lewis and thank you for coming. Look at that light. Okay, now you're ready to build your journal. All your flaps are bent backwards, basically. All right, then you take your journal, I mean your envelope. I told you this is a blooper reel. <laughs>